Hey, what's going on, Taurus Gemini Cups? I am Solo69. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to bring you a monthly moon reading for the month of December 2021. This is a general reading for the month, but though it will fall off into the cycle of, um, into January, until the cycle of the Taurus Gemini Cups comes back around. So this reading may not resonate with all of you. As you know, you can check with your other placements within the month and see if anything makes sense to you there. Or you can check back sometime within this cycle to see if anything makes sense then. Also, you do not have to be a Taurus Gemini Cups to validate with this reading. So just take the message as, as it comes to you. Please take out the time to like, subscribe, and share, as always, I will say. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into this energy. Today is December the 15th when I am recording this. So this is when your energy is sitting strong um, towards Gemini Cups. And so um, I might look for another name to call you guys because these Cups names are really complicated to just keep spitting out and spitting out. So if you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments and let me know. But other than that, hopefully by the time I get back around to your um to your to your reading again um i'll have a different name to call you that makes sense and sounds good okay <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and see what this month of december has in store for you cutting the cards we see have faith in your dreams the energy is growing <laughs> momentum here gaining momentum here so something definitely is growing and you just need to have faith in it something is coming very close to you conclusions are within root reach just keep faith in whatever this is that you're working on or that you're thinking about yeah this is also about being able to work through your fears even if something tends to sting a little bit thank you for your wisdom your guidance and understanding this is for Taurus Gemini Hux energy once again, conclusions are here for you. They're right there in your face within reach. You know, this is something that could be um, reaching a peak here, definitely. Um, you would probably, uh, you know, the full moon would be here around the 18th to the 19th. So you may be um, some, some, uh. <laughs> You may be experiencing some things around that time that's going to bring change into your life or ending um, or conclusions, you know, once again. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Cut cards already. Let's go ahead and get this message out for you. See what's highlighted for Taurus Gemini Cups for December 2021. Okay, we got working through your fears, like I say, even if it tends to sting a little bit, even if it's an ouch here or there, you know, like it's almost walking through grass knowing that those little um, sticks, those little sticky pieces of the grass, those little sticky balls are, <laughs> are in the grass, you know, but yet at the same time, you can't, the only way you are going to get on the other side of the yard is if you walk barefooted. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just stand there or are you going to go ahead and take a deep breath and get on down across the yard? <laughs> you know, so this is about you um, having confidence and knowing that as long as you remain confident about what you're doing, how you're doing it, um, the things that you're saying, how you're appearing to a situation, keeping your head up, chin up. You'll be fine. That you'll be successful. But I feel like you could be um, putting your head down here with this confidence is the key to success in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo as well or a Scorpio here. This energy is standing out. But um, I'm more so seeing this is something that could possibly hurt. So it's like you're really not confident enough to um, get through it. I feel like you're not capable of getting through this situation. I feel like your ego could have also been a little bruised here. Um, this could be a new energy for you. You may not have experienced this type of energy before here. Um, 
this is wanting to show up. So believing in the impossible wants to come back out and slide out. So once again, this is about keeping that faith um, no matter what, because um, as long as you keep going, it will be okay. But when you stop, it all stops. But you're so close to whatever this is. And this could be a sting. You know, you could be afraid to take a step because you feel like it'll hurt your feet. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that energy is <clears throat> showing up. So let's go ahead and see when it comes down to this. What is this actually pertaining to? You definitely could be in a nine of swords energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some type of hostilities. You could definitely be in the middle of some type of battle, fight, or argument. But this is about, once again, keeping that strength, keeping, you know, that lion energy is coming back, the courage to move on and do something. So this is about having the courage to be able to conquer through any type of um, problems, any type of um, weeded, you know, weeded gardens that's over, overly grown. This is about chopping down those vines that's extra thick. <laughs> I just see somebody hacking their life away. <laughs> okay because they're clearing something out to walk away from and this is also um knowing that instead of remaining where you know you're comfortable remaining where okay hostilities this is wanting to see once again having the strength to get through this even though you're you may be very comfortable there is something more for you to check out and experience here it's like other options here in the, in the, in the horizon only if you decide to step through and see what's on the other side it's almost like you you have the opportunity to see actually if the grass is greener on the other side um most people don't know um, but for some reason, I'm feeling like you're being told to go check and see, you know, um, for yourself about something. That's weird energy here. Yeah, because this could definitely have something to do with some type of connection with family. This could have something to do. You might discover that you have family somewhere else. You may discover that you, your family belong somewhere else you know this could be something that someone you know a situation that could be held up from you and you could be fighting and get through here somebody could be trying to fight for their family and their happiness their the end all be all they're fighting for this someone is fighting for it So you really are needing to have the confidence to keep keep fighting through something, um, even if it hurts. Even it's, it's like the last contender that um the you know the movie Undefeated. You know I'm catching these boxing movies. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, for understanding. Someone could actually be boxing or getting ready to go into the ring here. This is about bringing balance into the situation. Here's some type of ancient energy. Is showing up, showing up for happiness here. Yeah. When it comes down to confidence, is the key to success in reverse. For um, Taurus Gemini Cups, there's that anxiety again. woman holding the coin some of you could be concerned or having some type of stress level that's bothering you when it comes down to this either capricorn lady or this lady that is could be helpful when it comes down to um helping you maybe with stability and um um holding some type of finances here i help just helping you being able to help you with some type of money here you could be concerned about a woman or worried about this woman. This woman looks like she's in good standing. There's a man here as well that's holding a heart. You could be dealing with a Scorpio like I spoke on earlier. Um, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces as well. But this is also um, someone could have fell in love with you. You know, I don't know if this is a fall in love or what. But there's like sexual love and lust and there's he's holding a heart. Um, 
someone knows how they feel about the situation here and they could be trying to give you a message this could be a message that could be either causing a broken heart or this there could be um trying to end a, a someone could be trying to give you a message to bring um You could have walked away from this person. And someone could be trying to give you a message to bring healing to a, a broken heart. They could be trying to heal their own broken heart here. And once again, it's trying to, um, you know. But at the end of the day, it's something about them. If somebody envies someone secretly. And so this could, is, is a reason why some type of ending is, I mean, something is not happening. There's like a secret envy here, but there's a lot of anxiety that's mixed in with this energy as well. Someone definitely is trying to get to the end of something. They really can't sleep. They really are thinking a hell of a lot. Um, this they could have be getting, you could be getting a little bit of headaches here or there from thinking too much. You could be um, thinking about some type of betrayal here, whether this is somebody doing doing this to you or you doing this to somebody else. There could you could feel like something is um, ghosted or some type some you know something could have hit the fan. Some type of lightning could have struck a situation here. Um, I definitely feel like somebody is really stuck in thought pondering, like they're trying to figure out either how to do something or something. This is, yeah, the moon is here. Someone is definitely trying to get enlightenment to a situation when it comes down to what they don't know and they need to know. Um, some weird energy showing up. This is this may have something to do with, you know, partnering up with you. Someone may need the confidence to learn you more something or they want to get closer to you or they want to learn you more but they may have not not have the confidence but yet they're stuck in in this anxiety about it and they may feel like this cycle is over with yeah somebody may feel like or somebody even may want to have a cycle you know go into a new cycle with you but also i'm catching this energy that someone is like doubtful there's a they may feel like something is totally and completely over with here yeah it's like it's a loss and grief they feel like it's done you know so we just gonna leave it at that thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding the Taurus Gemini Cubs Someone, you know, this is about waiting on something to come towards you. Something great could be heading your way. You could be working on something and trying to see what type of results are going to come out of it. Somebody could be working on something to see what type of results are going to come out of it. With the Seven of Pentacles being at the bottom, Taurus, that could be you with that energy coming in, Taurus Gemini. Korean Gem. have to figure your name out. Okay, so we got this King of Swords here showing up very um I'm not gonna say simple minded, but I'm definitely because very professional, but very um hardcore energy here coming in. Um this person may actually not be, they may be showing up really, really. This king is not as mean as he looks in the upright, but he's very solid. You know, this is a real solid energy coming in here of this Aquarius. So, I mean, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It could happen in your chart or in your energy. But this is someone that's solid, that's really paying attention to everything. This is someone who you cannot fool with the with, with the with the fuckery. Just gonna say it, but this is um someone that that even if they may show a pruned face, they really you know they really chill. 
They really chill. This is some uh, some type of connection we have here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here coming together. Someone could be trying to come together towards you and um, unlock a key with you. Unlock a door of something. Maybe your door or something. <laughs> yeah, they could be actually trying to find a clever way to get close to you. But it's, it looks like you chopping heads yeah it looks like you're chopping heads and made a deliberation of you know new hope you know hopes and dreams following your hopes and dreams and you know it looks like you could be walking away from something toxic i'm not sure let's see what message came out because it's almost shot off the table okay so this is the four of pentacles Somebody definitely was holding on too tight to something until something blew over. You know, this is a fire now. Somebody that started in the castle. It's kind of like somebody. <laughs> this is the energy and, and seeing this gold tooth. You know. That's, that's an energy of the streets to me standing out um it's almost like somebody's doing something for the money and it could have blew over um or somebody could have been trying to hold on too tight for the wrong reasons and it could have caused a blow over some type of head somebody got a headache i'm seeing this or either you're a headache you may think something or someone is a headache or you may have a headache. Somebody got a headache. And, you know, somebody's probably been having this headache for um, a few days now. I'm catching some days off and on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody been having a headache. The headache. I don't know what's up with the headache. But I'm, it's um, the headache is, is extreme. So I'm going to have to throw that in the title somewhere. So it looks like somebody was trying to achieve victory by trying to manifest something old, but there was something scaled about this that was this offer. Something was scaled about this offer, and somebody could be actually crying over spilled milk because somebody from the past did not work out or something from the past did not work out here. This could be some type of celebration that was an old wish somebody could have wanted in the past, but now it's like a juggle and it's 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 almost like they are they were trapped. Coming out of being a tra entrapped in their mind, it looks like they're putting an ending to something that they was there was some blindsided shit going on too. And it was and it, you're putting an ending to some things that you may not even see. Here. And it could be some, um, you could have kept yourself trapped in the situation or somebody could have kept you trapped, blindsided into something. But in some cases, your heart could be covered up or you could be really closed off with your heart right now. And you're not trying to really see something and you're putting an ending to something without having an open heart to it. So you might need to keep that in mind as well. Truth is coming out behind this energy that, you know, you could be cutting yourself or cutting someone when it comes down to getting some type of level up. Something that could be um, coming in, bringing a full throttle to your endings, the, you know, this struggle that you're going through. Because this is a lot of anxiety that you're dealing with. And it's something that it looks like you could be pushing away. It looks like you could be blindsided to not really seeing clearly but you it looks like you're you you could you definitely can hear it but you can't see it and your heart is closed to it you really are ready to stab somebody you know and it looks like you're ready to you know do some damage with this sword but it looks more like also is lifting a crown here so I really don't know what that means, <laughs> lifting a crown. Let's get some clarification for you. So we got this confidence is your key to success in reverse here. Let's start by clarifying that.
Because I feel like you may be like feeling like unworthy to do something. You don't feel like you're capable of doing something. And, you know, sometimes you can ride off the wrong type of ego as well. I low-key just was saying something about ego earlier today. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy, once again, is here. This person could be very guarded when it comes down to different types of choices that um, has brought, you know, because it looks like they have had, you know, could have made the wrong choices in the past or could have made choices thinking that they were good, but they ended up not being fulfilling and led into grief or depression here into a sunken place. This is a golden child here that's trying to be true, you know, letting the truth set them free. They're just looking for truth to a situation here. So, okay, this wanted to be seen. So somebody is not walking away from a situation. They don't know how to. They don't know how to change. They don't know which direction to really go. You got these feeling-based choices coming in from, once again, this King of Swords energy. Because he's coming back right here with this King of uh, um, Spades. So this is this person showing up, you know, making choices based on feelings. And it's like... They really feel ill-confident Ill to do something. They really feel like they may have lost the battle a little bit in anxiety about it, don't know what to do. So, I mean, you know, seeing this energy, this is someone who's also not really showing any type of feelings. They could definitely be a little mean or cold-hearted. Um, you know, when I see the king of... Um, Swords, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy once again, but this person's energy, you know, I, I, I'm low key seeing the, uh, the 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 sexual deck that I got, you know, and it's and I know that that King of Swords is very serious, but yet he has hidden hidden tendencies to um, feel certain ways. He just never really shows how he truly truly feels. Um, it's kind of hard. This is a person that does not show facial expressions like that. You know, it's very serious matters. You take it, they look at a lot of matters very serious, even if they're not in a serious state of being. It's just the way that they are here. But this person, you know, is kind of ill confident about the choices that they made. The decisions, the options that they use, they had them and there's something about them here. And they're really thinking about them. They're really being professional and intelligent about this. And um, But they were, the choices were pretty abrasive. And uh, there were a lot of feelings based around the indecision matching this as well. And somebody was concerned about a going astray situation here, wondering maybe what was happening with another situation here. This is about two people. There is a third party here. Yeah. The smoke just showed me that. I just seen that in the incident. So, so when it comes to anxiety, clarify. Anxiety. Yeah, there's a, there is a third party here. And there's something about, once I spoke that, it changed. So something about the blending of this energy here. Now, somebody could definitely feel stuck in a rut when it comes down to this anxiety. They could feel like they, you know, once again, low vibrational choices I hear that somebody could have made. And now they're sitting in a lot of doubt, you know, especially when it comes down to sexual favors and stuff like that coming towards someone's like, okay, so you, you came towards a king or a queen with this shit. A born king or queen, someone with this shit in their bloodline. This is not just someone who's claiming to be a king or a queen. And they don't have to be well known. They don't have to be rich. They don't have to be in the in in the public eye like that to be blood a blood driven royal. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today. But somebody is stuck because they really pulled something on a royal here. Okay, so a high priestess. So you in anxiety about the high priestess and also about the things, the fact that she knows. She knows. Because the high priestess knows. 
I never seen the diamonds in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. And I'm not proud of my address. And a torn up town. Post, what was it? What did she say? Postcard, post envy. Yeah. Somebody is royal, but they may not show it. You know, somebody is 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 secretly royal here, yo. I'll never get that song, and I'm gonna bump it when I'm done. I I'll never get that song, yo. So I'm gonna place that in the description box. Make sure you listen to it because this is what this person is. In. Your anxiety over a royal. So, I mean, you have every right to feel anxiety about what you done did and wondering if you done made, you know, but see, uh, some people, you know, oh, fuck that then, you know, mad, you know, you're mad. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see, clarify this five, I mean, this four, I'm catching five of pentacles, so somebody does feel left out in the cold. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to come in from out the cold. Somebody a shivery. Yeah, let's see, clarify this four of, of, of coins because somebody um, did too much to a royal. That's where they, look at the crown, the crown. Somebody was messing with a royal. The most I don't like that. So whatever you're doing, you know, you could be, you know, the, it's the way you're going about it. This is a royal. You could be taught this. Okay. So we're definitely talking about these two people. So I'm going to leave them sitting out for a second. We're going to figure out who who is who. Okay, so... Somebody could have been a business creator. Somebody could definitely be all lost. Some Okay. this Somebody could have been holding on too tight to a business creator. Someone who's creating their own business. Someone who's working. This is a superhuman type person. This is somebody you plan when you play around with this person, you're doing risky business because this is not the person to play with. And also, this is someone who could you can be blocked. Okay. This is some the energy that's coming from this person that you that you holding on too tight to destroy their mind because this is a royal once again and you see how them flames going around that royal's mind this is I really feel like this is this queen of pentacles I really do because this is the pentacle you know I'm just catching and then here's the queen of pentacles again this is what's showing back up so I'm really thinking that this is who you know, somebody, you could be holding on too tight to, uh, somebody could be, you could be this queen of pentacles doing this. But I really feel like somebody is in anxiety because they know somebody knows something with this high priestess as well. And they could be concerned about it, not feeling confident about the choices that they made. I know, I know, I know. You ain't that nigga you say you is. <laughs> Blocked energy. You know, this is blocking this energy. This is what this person is worried about. Once again, this is a born king or a queen. Is somebody doing this to? Or you're doing this to somebody. But I'm catching that when you're playing with this type of energy, I don't see, uh, you know, this, this queen is an upright energy. Somebody is ill confident about the choices that they made. Uh -uh, we're gonna go. Uh -uh, I'm wanting to clarification. This is now the Queen of Pentacles could be in anxiety about something and just keeping it to herself as well. We're gonna get deeper into it, figure it out. I want to clarify this woman holding the coin. Clarify the woman holding the coin for me, please. Tell me more about the woman holding the coin.
there was no victory here. Queen of Wands, this could have been somebody trying to charm someone. Sagittarius energy is showing up. Um, Aries energy is showing up as well. There's a grand ending here. Someone did not get victory here. Now, this could be someone trying to achieve a goal. You could have been trying to achieve a goal with this woman. Or the woman was trying to achieve a goal with you and they got, they didn't get no victory here. And it could be definitely... Now, this Queen of Pentacles is the core... Um, um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Something is unclean and effortless. Somebody got a hollow, tried to get a hollow victory out of someone, and it was effortless and unclean energy. And, you know, you could have been unaware that someone was trying to achieve this goal towards you. Someone also could be a little jealous about your victories. I don't know why. And, um, you know, could be a little puzzled on how you're winning. Wow! It really is showing this. Someone is puzzled about your aim to win. Look. And then it's showing literally that they had an unclean victory, hollow victory. It was unclean. This was actually not a victory at all. Somebody could have thought they won something. This king of hearts, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this is what's showing up right here as well. So let's, I guess we're going to just jump right into it because it's making it seem like this king of cups is unclean. Okay, so clarify the man holding the heart. Let's talk about him real quick. Tell me more about the man holding the heart. Uh, the woman holding the coin could actually think that the man holding the heart is unclean. She could be looking at him as unclean, actually. And like he's on a hollow victory trying to achieve something unawareably, not knowing. Aiming to win, puzzled about how I'm winning. You know, it could be, I don't know which way this is going here. Mirror images is all in here. So someone could be um, watching you on um, social media someone could be watching looking at your pictures someone could literally just be um, looking at you from a distance keeping up with you like keeping tabs on you here okay so we have okay so we got the queen of pentacles showing back up in reverse at the bottom here and this is being out of order. This is not being in business minded, created. This is not being in the position of holding stability on the coin and continue to make more money. This is out of order. This is out of order. So whether this is, we're talking about this man holding the heart. So we could be, he could want this queen out of order. He could feel more confident with her being out of order, not on her A game. Because this is a queen normally on her A game, a uh, provider, home builder. You know what I'm saying? Instead, this is like hydro works. They look like they want them out of order and in tears and deep in emotions. Instead, this is like, I want this person confused and crying and shit. You know, a new life. This is stumbled. Okay, so somebody could have uh, caused this or tried to. energy because what we got here with this king i mean this this, this man holding a heart is trying to come in with a spark of a new affair a love affair a spark of inspiration a passion this person is coming in passionate they're focused on trying to actually have some type of teamwork or do something with you but there's some type of uh, ex deceit maybe of them refusing to acknowledge some type of truth within themselves here and so what's happening is that the strategy is not calculating whatever they're trying to their strategy they're, 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 this is the deceit they ain't they ain't their calculations and strategy is off they don't know how to plot plan and strategize so they can bomb first at all what this person is doing is just flying off the hinges and it's it's making it's kind of like sitting in a, a sand quick i mean quicksand and instead of getting out you i mean like being still and you know allowing yourself to get out the way that it's supposed you know you, the, you know the more you wiggle and move in quicksand you're gonna go down 
and it's going to be harder and harder to get out. This is a person that's creating quicksand. <laughs> Excuse me for kind of being tickled about it. And they actually are not being secretive about it. They don't know how to, they're, 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 it's wide open. It's obvious that they're creating quicksand and waddling in it and enjoying it. But it's, it's something about this. This is, so it's like the, the approach is wrong. I don't even know if this is negative or positive i just feel like this is a lot of assuming here because see she's assuming that he's unclean he looks like he's had the spark of passion but don't, don't know how to strategize and deceitful with not seeing something clearly so and it's obvious but he it's like he wants to work with you clarify the three of pentacles okay What is this teamwork in trying to, you know, work on some skills that this king is on? The pre-empress rebuilding a structure. Okay, so he wants to team up with you and rebuild some type of structure with you. Basically coming back in from out the cold. He wants to work with you. And it's like now it's like he knows that you've been doing things on your own. So it's like now he wants to come in. But what does he it's like he wants to work on? pre-empress he wants to work on you i'm confused <laughs> just, this is really just um but he ruffled some feathers there was some feathers ruffled here maybe he wanted to work on ruffling the feathers maybe that was the intention mutual freak maybe so you can feel like he does or yeah stable person it brought stability there's no real emotions here you know some people just want to fight boxing gloves there they go finally and it's unaccountable for their actions here we go right here with this eight of swords i mean eight of pentacles don't you know not accountable for what you've done this is the work you put in and you ruffle feathers and don't want to be held accountable did it but the light is too bright the light shined in on this situation and brought enlightenment to it. That's crazy that this is just a sequel. This is how this plays out. Somebody just does this. And it's an ending that's placed to this, but somebody really don't know how to end something. So they come back around to ruffle your feathers. They don't want to be held accountable for it. You they see you as the as a pre-empress. Whether you know, whatever whatever they are, they're the king of hearts. King of hearts. Is somebody who walks around with their heart on their sleeve doing this type of stuff. And it's like the only reason this person is doing this is because they have a spark of passion for you. You see this energy? They see you. So they want a sequel. They want a, a sequel. This is something that you could have, you could be real sketchy about. Especially not understanding what these boxing gloves are here for. Like, why is somebody trying to fight? Why is somebody coming at you like that? I mean, especially when they want to say that they're a good fella. But this could be somebody who was a good fella, or, you know. But it looks like more so of a master in disguise. Wow. Yeah, because they would be blocked. Somebody, some, so somebody doing this for the cows. And they want to just argue. Period. Childish. 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 Hi, friend. Taurus energy is showing up as well. This is somebody who's committed to this type of energy and manifest this type of energy and get they 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 to them they feel rich when they're getting rewarded for you being you know you telling them to leave them alone like this. But it ended in you wanted to be left alone and it ended in some type of fatality. It ended in some type of fatality, but now the coast is clear. Now they want to be family this fight though and it ended up being a so this could be somebody actually being um told to do this i'm seeing tag team energy 
So we're seeing tag team energy here. So this could actually be somebody doing this with somebody. And when they stop, the next one start. And when they stop, the next one stay tag teaming. Wow, where is this coming from? Hold on. So let's see what this deceit is. I want to be a little nosy. I want to check out this deceit when it come down to this king. Clarify the seat. This two of um, swords, please. Because that's also not acknowledging truth to yourself. But this could be this tag team. Somebody could be withdrawing from the tag team. Damn tag team. So there's a disappointment here to a situation when it comes down to a golden child. Somebody got the truth about the situation here, and they want they now they want to work on something. Yeah, but they went they want to you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Somebody uh, they don't want to talk. The deceit here is somebody not talking. They could be um, really causing themselves their own blockage right here with the three of uh, swords. Here is how they going about talking, and it's a disappointment. Uh, somebody could feel disappointed the two you know closed off or disappointed because the golden child doesn't want to talk which is this high priestess energy over here so really this male is mad because this woman uh take it whichever way you want to take it which somebody don't want to talk and somebody a little pissed about it so somebody want to hold a conversation with you but the way that they come about it is really messed up and i don't know somebody need to work through their fears though and gain their confidence to actually Come better. This is a um, a divorce situation here. Somebody could be getting a, a divorce or having a final words. Let's see. He say she say she is um you know this ascending master. So it's like somebody, and then somebody spying on you on top of that, like because they're overwhelmed. Somebody been crying and stuff. Hold on. And somebody actually looking at you as, as some type of support system more than you know. Like we got, yeah, because you actually help them grow personally. Everybody don't want to admit that they, that, that, that you give them insight that they need to grow from the inside out. You, some people don't want you to even think that, that, that they need that type of growth. You know, we, we all need growth. It is what it is. And that's why somebody is feeling defeated. That's why this person is feeling defeated. And this is King of Swords energy. And this is they trying to stand. They really come in. They really hiding themselves as the King of, of they really hiding the King of Heart energy. But they showing up as a King of Sword energy. Unless, like I say, this is two people. There's somebody professional and there's somebody on with, with walking around with their feelings on their shit right now. Because I'm seeing the king. Yeah, this is two folks. This is two people because the kings, it's two kings of, 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 of swords out here and it's two king of hearts. I'm really just not noticing it. So there's a water sign and there's an air sign that's, that's, that's tag teaming on something. Somebody trying to make somebody feel ill confident or making, you know, about the decisions that they making based on somebody else. And really somebody else is coming in trying to stop something else and they causing deceit while they bringing something to the table here. Somebody don't want to be, you know, talk to them. They don't want to express. It's the way you expressing things. You, you're moving slow, but steady trying to be expressive ain't cool when you can talk shit another way, especially if you're coming in to stir up, be, stir up this queen. Cause that's what it looks like here with this four of, uh, um, this four of pentacles and this anxiety here. And it looks like the queen is aware. I mean, the queen is aware with this high priestess. And also you could be aware that she's aware. So it's a, it's a feeling of the fee here when it comes down to a new beginning. Just point blank period. But someone doesn't know if they could, should continue to try to work on this or not. Just period. So this is what it's coming down to. Okay, let's go ahead and get you some advice. So it really is a tag team in here.
I'm going to call y'all the tag team kings because that's what it's looking like. Whether y'all know it or not, y'all are tag teaming. Okay, we got death and magic here showing up. So somebody is presenting and performing something here and trying to transform some things by bringing this in. So there is some tag team as energy here. And it's a lot of he say, she say going on too. Yeah, but you got to be wise about these things when they come down to this type of stuff. You, you know, this is an ending. You can put an end to this. This transformation that's here for you. Keep that in mind. Because something is going on around you. Definitely some type of illusions and secrets and dark ass energy around you that's trying to put you in a different type of situation. And it's like there's, a, there's a, oh, you know what? Clarify this, this six of... This six of um ones in reverse, real quick. Came right on out with the four of pentacles again. So stingy, holding back, um, guard and read somebody. So somebody trying to stop the this queen of pentacles. And you know what? The Queen of Pentacles is aware of it. Somebody trying to stop this Queen of Pentacles from her business creations and business endeavors or something. It's almost like, I don't know if they're trying to hold on to her too tight. You know, they stingy about her. Tell me more about this Four of uh, Pentacles. So... Somebody knows that you're going to be a fucking millionaire. Somebody knows that you got money coming, queen. Somebody is aware that you are in king status, even though you're sitting on the queen's throne. Somebody is aware where your empress should stand at, and they know they, they want it. This charity offering and, and stuff, somebody is definitely aware of this, and they want to be stingy and hold on to you. So we got this king of cups over here that's doing this and you seem aware of it though you see could clarify this king of cups being unclean what's unclean about this king of cups I'm sorry that I'm getting so deep into this but I'm really just being told so somebody being told okay they, you, you're getting warnings, maybe even from your ancestors or whatnot about this, that this is an omen, that this person right here, does not, it's, a, it's deception coming behind this king of cups. This person has nothing to offer you but fake love. Your ancestors have been trying to tell you about this, but the coast is clear now to the situation because I believe that maybe you won't already know, you see it. So yeah, once again, you're superhuman. <laughs> So, you know, you're going to see what the person least expects you to see. But this is about you healing from secrets. Because there's some secrets floating around. And you're healing from them. They could be around the home. They could be close to, closer to you than you think. People tag team and trying to do some stuff. You know, and, and, and they worried about your fortune. If they can't have it, they don't want you to have it too. And some of you could be dealing with um something with your fortune. You could be dealing with a Pisces and um a lawyer. And you may need to look into that energy as well. What is this? What is this? This yeah. There's some risky business definitely going on here. Thank you for your wisdom, God, and to understand. And please show me the motivation, enlightenment, encouragement, or advice that you have for Taurus Gemini Cups, please. Instead of having all that anxiety or being worried or thinking that somebody knows something or you already just making these assumptions, you can restore something by communicating. Mother Isis is, or Iris is here for you to help you restore something. All you got to do is open your mouth and talk. And, and you know, once you al allow your, your feelings to really show for what they is, they will progress the agreement that you got. Right now, some of you could definitely be dealing with um, not allowing yourself to see something that you should see. It's almost like you're, give, you're, you're, you're celebrating winter 
in your pineal gland <laughs> or your foresight or your third eye and you're um, closing it off. You're not allowing yourself to see something. And so that's keeping you in a, a, a messed up situation. You're being told to remain wise in how you communicate and show compassion to people. Even, you know, you've mastered a lot of things. So it's not you, like you don't have to take yourself back in time because other people are taking you want to go back to the future with you. You just keep moving forward in the future. 44 is here. So we got 22, 44, uh, 8 is here and 4 is here. 48 is here as well. For all these 4s is really here. So it's about you showing generosity and making sure that we're doing your transformation that you're going through. You remain humble as well because you're almost at the ending of your transformation. You could be dealing with other people that's going through the beginning of their transformation. So you got to remain humble, generous, and remind yourself of what you went through going through your transformation too. Everybody ain't the same. You know, keep that in mind. And so you it's about working with different energies and different um, souls here. This is about soul tribes and everybody ain't from the same soul tribe either. So we're going to keep that in mind. Oh, communication. You could be once again dealing with the Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius. But like I say, this is about just making sure that you have the confidence to say something or do something that you need to do here. Um, this is a situation that can be fixed. It's just up to you how you go about fixing it. So I'm going to get on up out of here. I do want you to have a blessed one. And um, I'm going to see you later, okay? All right, Taurus, Gemini Cups. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys around the next moon cycle.